solve for x if 5 raised to power s plus 25 raised to power of s is equal to 650. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we quickly want to find the value of s from this given exponential equation. 5 raised to power of s plus 25 raised to power of s is equal to 650. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, I want to say a big thanks to you all. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation. 5 raised to the power of s plus 25 raised to the power of s is equal to 650. Then we have... 5 raised to the power of x plus 25 is the same thing as 5 square raised to the power of s is equal to 650. Now remember, if you have a raised to the power m raised to the power of n, is the same thing as a raised to the power of n multiplied by m, which is equal to a raised to the power of n raised to the power of m. Therefore, our equation become 5 raised to the power of s plus 5 raised to the power of s all square is equal to 650. Then we have 5 raised to the power of s plus 5 raised to the power of s all square minus 650 is equal to 0. Now let 5 raised to the power of s is equal to t. Then we have t plus t square minus 650 is equal to 0. Then let's rearrange this. We have t square plus t minus 650 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve the, this equation by factorization method or using the quadratic general formula. But in this case, we're going to make use of factorization method. We look for two numbers so that the product will be minus 650 and the sum will be plus 1 because the coefficient of t here is 1. Now, let's factor 650. We have 650 is same thing as 25 multiplied by 26. Now, if you have minus 650, minus 650 is same thing as minus 25 multiplied by 26. We have t square plus t minus 650 is equal to 0, which is equal to then t square minus 25t plus 26t minus 650 equal to 0. From here, we have t into t minus 25 plus 26 into t minus 25 is equal to 0. Now here we have t minus 25, t minus 25, we have t here and here is 26. By comparing we have t plus 26 is equal to 0 or t minus 25 is equal to 0. 
Therefore, from here, T is equal to minus 26, or from this equation, we have T is equal to 25. Then from T is equal to minus 26. This is less than zero. We reject this. It's a false statement. Also, we make use of this. T is equal to 25. T is equal to 25. It's a true solution. Then we remember that we said 5 raised to the power of S is equal to what? T. If 5 raised to the power of S is equal to T and T is equal to 25, then we have 5 raised to the power of S is equal to 25. And 25 is equal to 5 square. 5 raised to the power of S is equal to 5 square. They have the same base. This one will cancel this. Therefore, S is equal to 2. Our final answer is S is equal to 2. We can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. From the given equation, we have 5 raised to the power of S plus 25 raised to the power of S must be equal to 650. Then at S is equal to 2. We have 5 square plus 25 square must be equal to what? 650. Therefore, 5 square is what? 25 plus 25 square is what? 625. There must be equal to 650. Now, 25 plus 625, that is equal to 650, which is equal to what? 650. Which means, which means left hand side is equal to the right hand side, which satisfies the given equation at S is equal to 2. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.